Hey you guys, it's Liz. And that was Apple Scruffs by George Harrison from All Things Must Pass. And uh, that was played for our special guest, next guest, Margaret Morell, calling in from France. Margaret was involved in a really cool way in the production of one of the most iconic Beatles songs in history, Hey Jude. She's originally from John Waite's hometown of Lancaster, England, but she's got some really cool memories of the Beatles during the late 60s. So, bonjour, Margaret. And can you tell us a little bit about all of that? Okay, Margaret, that, yeah. I got tears watching you um, listen to that song. Brings, brings a lot of memories back. A lot of memories. <laughs> well, so, what was your experience um, with the, the Beatles? Well, um, as you say, I was from the north of England, but I went to live in London when I was 16. My, what I wanted to do, I wanted to go to London, I wanted to meet the people, and so that's what I did. And um, I was able to meet them a few times, quite a lot of anecdotes. And the one you're talking about is uh, when I took part in Hey Jude. Right, how did that come about? Um, that was because, uh, as I said, I was living in London. At the time, I was living with my friend and her family. And one evening, I got a telephone call from my American pen friend, who was uh, on holiday in London. And she said, you have to come down to Abbey Road Studio straight away. Had to start. So you have to come to, she said you had to come to um, London. We, we had my American pen friend, who was uh, on holiday in London, she said, you have to come round straight away to the Abbey Road studio. She said, the people are looking for people to take part in an event tomorrow. But we don't know what it is, but you have to come. Now, how did she and know? How did she find out about this event? Well, she must have been hanging around the studios as well, because she was a great Beatles so fan. So, was she hanging around, do you think, um, Savile Row, Apple, where Apple Studios was? Or you think she no, was... No, no. This was at EMI Studios. Oh, that's Abbey Road. Abbey Road. Abbey Road. Where you see them crossing over the, walking over the crossing. Right, that right. That was Abbey Road, where they used to record all their, all their music. Right. And um, so we had to go and... Uh, Evan's the road manager? Yes. And he he gave us the papers we had. No, he went to get the papers. And so we sat down, and who should come in the waiting room but Paul McCartney. So Paul came in and came to see us, and that's what we were doing there. So we said it was to to come to see you tomorrow. We were waiting to fill in the necessary papers. So how did you decide what to wear? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, really. Um, I, I just picked this dress which was a good choice because it was bright yellow right so you can't miss me in the video and i had my usual at the time thick hair my mother used to say your dresses are going up and up and up and your hair is going up and up and up, and up. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes i just that was my way of dressing at the time so cool and um Yes, I say it was a good job I chose that yellow dress because you can't miss me in the video. <laughs> right, so now how did you, did they put you, they put you into your position or you just decided where to go or they just said you stand here? Because you were standing next to your friend Coral, right? Yes, well, when, when we got to the studios, well, of course, uh, with the coach, then they explained what we were going to do. And we had to go into the big studio, it was a huge place. Um, they said uh, we had to, we sat all round, and when it got to the end bit, where the mum and I was coming, we had to all go up on the stage. And I don't know how we did it, but we got onto a real good place, just next to George. Oh, so um, it was like a massive, just run to the stage? Yes, it was a <laughs> get up. There was a lot of us, there was a lot of people, but uh, managed to managed to get a good place. <laughs> but they recorded the song a lot of times. They filmed, filmed a lot of times. And there's just one of the films I'm not on because I was, I was tired. So, so um, what, what were you feeling standing there next to George Harrison and seeing the Beatles? 
Well, we were, we were very excited about it, very happy about it. We were not, I don't remember being nervous, just very happy about the whole thing and very curious to what was going on. We were watching all the cameras and uh, it, it was all very, all very different, uh, all very different for us. Uh, um, no, it was a, a great moment. <laughs> it was a great moment. Now, you told me that George was the one that was really, really friendly to you guys outside and stuff, right? Uh, George was always very nice. He was very, very patient, uh, very, very, very nice person. Um, we even once went to his home when he lived in Isha. So when you, when, um, you told your mother, because they were probably like, why, oh, you're going to England to see the Beatles. And when you said, well, look, you know, I'm on TV, what, what would they say, your parents say to that? Oh, they, they, they were always great fun. They, they were very interested. But a funny thing was, um, when I went to the recording, I was supposed to go to work. So I told my boss I was ill. And of course, he saw me on TV with my bright yellow dress and my hair. Uh, <laughs> so I said, no, no, it wasn't me. No, 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 no. Oh, so you denied the whole thing? Pardon? So you denied the whole thing? Yeah, I said, of course, he knew it was me. He did. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so great. Well, that, that is so cool, Margaret, and thank you so much for sharing that with us. Really? Yes, well, I, um, I'm very glad to talk about it. <laughs> just like I said, just playing that song for you because you never heard that song, Apple Scrubs. And, um, no, 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 that when, when was that? When did that come out? That was on the in 1970, I think, All Things Must Pass. Yeah, yeah, so, and he, so you had I said, in the UK. and you said <laughs> he was always like cool to you guys. And look, he wrote that song for you. For all of you. Yeah. And, and yeah. um, yeah. well, okay, well, thanks so much again. Do you have anything else you want to say? No, as I say, there were so many little anecdotes about meeting them. As I say, um, Mal Evans, he once gave me the badge of the sort of Sergeant Pepper uniform at oh, all. Right. <laughs> which I gave away to, to my American parents. Oh, my God. Who, who must be very rich now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We have to track her down. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna she, um, was Peg, Peg, she was called Peggy Vick. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to look her up on Facebook and get that badge back for you. No, no I, I've looked. <laughs> oh, yeah. So thank you so much, Margaret, for sharing this uber epic moment in rock history with us. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. It's been nice speaking to you.